welcome to our Disney slash Universal slash Florida haul. Yay! <laughs> um, I have not done one of these for a while, have we? Long, long time. Feels, <laughs> feels very, very strange. Yes. Um, but we've been back from Disney for a few days now and I've kind of been putting off filming this but also I'm like I have to do it because we want to eat the snacks that we bought don't we? And use the stuff yeah. <laughs> and use the stuff. <laughs> yes so without further ado shall we get into it? Yes. <laughs> right so I'm gonna go into the usual stuff and um, we'll start off with magic bands and resort mugs. So the magic bands we went for this year are the pink ones Pink and yellow. Oh yeah. <laughs> There's two. Pink one and a yellow one and it's got a name on it. Oh. Is that the third trip yeah. with potential magic bands? We finally have our own name ones. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And I didn't ruin your one. No, exactly, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> and then went for a pink resort mug. Blue one. To match the magic band and you've got blue. Yes. So there's our magic bands. Didn't get much use. <laughs> um, yeah, so we went during Festival of the Arts, so of course we had to pick up one of the festival passports. Um, basically, it shows you the lineup for what's going on, what food booths there are, and stickers to um, put into the passport of all the booths you've tried. We, I think you started doing it, but A different book of it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, I think I just picked out this one. We've got like four of these. <laughs> so we picked up one of those and then we signed the guest book for Mickey and Minnie's um, 90th birthday um, to celebrate with them because there's celebrations going on right now through to September in Magic Kingdom. And we both got these postcards or cards, invitations, mm. say you're invited. Um, and inside there's a checklist of how you can celebrate with Mickey and Minnie and so you can well the first one's ticked for you there's 10 you can stop by Celebration Central and sign the Celebration guest book um, the, second, whoops, the second one is to meet Mickey and Minnie in their party outfits experience the movie at Shake It Mouse Good Dance at Street Party new hair is or new Minnie Mouse headband or Mickey Mouse ear hat, There's, the list goes on, I won't go through them all. Um, and then you also got some stickers with them as well. And mine are a bit sticky because... Yeah, why that is. Oh, it's because they were in the pocket where the Fox's glaciers were and and even though the plane wasn't hot according to the air hostess, it obviously was because the sweets melted. Um, but you got these cute stickers which are really cute so we've got two sets of these that's mickey yeah right so let's get on to the good stuff i'm going to show you this because i'm going to be drinking out of it for yeah, this video uh one of the patches i made was this water bottle that's got lilo and stitch on so it says ohana and you've got lilo and stitch cuddling and then on this side there's stitch reading two of the ducklings and it's one of those where um you can hold it so it's got a handle to it. There's no straw, but um, it's one of these. So you've got the drinking hole there. <laughs> it's a bit weird because at just underneath the this bit here, there's like a cross. So it's a, it's a filter. Not a lot comes out. No, it's basically a filter. If you want to put fruit yeah. juice and stuff in there, like also fruits. Oh, infused. It, yeah, it yeah. won't. It won't. You know, big lumps come up. Yeah. So you don't get a lot. Time, but that's fine, you get used to it. We went to was it our Toy Story Land event or was it the day before Toy Story Land event? It was the day before, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah but anyway, um, went to Hollywood Studios and I finally picked up no <laughs> alien popcorn bucket, Yay! which people would tell me, Oh, this house stuff is never coming back in stock, but I knew they'd, they'd get it back eventually, so I was very, very pleased to finally get him. So he has his thing in his, in, in his gob, but obviously, <laughs> you've all seen these before. Um, yeah. But I'm just excited to add it to my collection at last. Yeah. Now I and the lanyard's pretty cool. Yeah, it is. Now I just need to get the Christmas one. Which <laughs> anybody wants to send me, please feel free. <laughs> <laughs> but the lanyard's pretty cool on this as well. You've got different um, alien poses on there, and he's got his 3D glasses. Yeah. There we go. There, yeah, that one. So it's really cute. Very, very cute. Very, the very lanyards cool. are really good. I mean, yeah. I've not really seen nice many soft. that have those because the popcorn buckets we've bought in the past, mm. like. 
um, you know, Ghost Mickey and Vampire Mickey. Yeah, they they, they don't have... have one at all. You have to carry no. them. Um, I've got another one which you'll see which has a nice landing on it as well. So. <laughs> oh, sure. We can say show now. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Oh. I wasn't planning on getting this one because he's just so bloody big. But we are in Animal Kingdom before you know what. I'm going to regret if I don't get him. So I got the Sully popcorn bucket and don't let this fool you. He is big. He's, He's massive. It, this the base alone is just. I was concerned about getting it back because of the base. Yeah, I mean this. Sorry, when I was doing it, I mean I think I think you can clip them off maybe, but I just think it's be really really hard to get him back on. So um, bring him back at your peril. You need to have make sure you've got a lot of room in your suitcase, or as I did it in a carry on. Yeah. Um, he opens up. Like came back in the opens up at the back here. So uh, it's you know it's pretty good. Clicks into place. Um, but yeah, as you can see, here's another lanyard that's quite quite cool, actually. Nice and soft. So he is a Monsters, Inc. Sully, because we were trying to work out if he was MU Sully, because he looks young. Yeah. Young. But he's big. I mean, he's very cool, like, though, you know, and very him. bright. You know, he's, he's a big boy, but I'm very, very pleased I got him. So, tail doesn't move, just the back, but yeah. So I was very, very happy to get this one. Um, it took a while to get it as well because yeah. I kind of forgot about it, it that I wanted to get it. him. But I got the Mickey Super Look how cute he is! And I'm never going to use him as a cup. Um, his, I don't know what's happened, but since bringing him home, his hat doesn't stick properly. Like what I might, if you're not using it, what I might yeah. do is put a bit of super glue on yeah. these bits here. Just but yeah, this is a straw with his hat on and then the <coughs> cup. Oh, maybe that's why, because there's only one small tiny bit to get in there. I don't know, it's more like this, this bit is what um, But with. yeah, his, the, the, the drink goes in his head. The drink goes to his head. Um, <laughs> yeah, and then I've got to try and get this back on. There we go. Yes. Um, and this one was thirteen ninety nine, And then we got the drink to go with it, but I got it separate because we got a frozen strawberry lemonade, which is rather yummy. But isn't he cute? I'm so excited. It's quite heavy. He is quite heavy. More than you think it would be. Yeah, like just heavy, empty. Yeah, yeah, I mean his arms and his face are made of yeah. quite thick, heavy plastic. And then the next one is a souvenir, um, but not uh, not kind of, well I guess he's collectible, but I saw this in um, a Disneyland vlog and I just knew. Ooh, I just knew I had to, I don't know, I've just seen it now. I just knew I had to get him because he is awesome. I got the buzz bubble maker. Has he got water in it? He's got stuff in it. I was reading about this. Some, I think he needs new batteries personally, but um, what else? They, they set up in the park, I think, because they need to screw the, open his backpack to put the batteries in. So I think that's why in the park they offered to do it for you. Yeah, so it's an Animal Kingdom, um, and we were just looking at was wanted to drink didn't we or something and then I saw, I saw this thing and I thought it looked really really cool and so I thought I must have it and it's the Animal Kingdom uh, canteen so it's got this nice kind of, um, I don't know what sort of material you'd call that but it's, it's very nice material, it's got a clip at the back so you can belt loop if you wanted to you know just kind of blind it, it's, it was quite tough um, nice rivet button there um, it's, very, very, it's quite big um, you wouldn't really think, you can't really see there, but it's got a big lip hole, but at the top it does come off as well. Um, you don't drink it that way. <laughs> no, but I, I really, really liked it. Um, and the last sort of souvenir -y type thing that we got, um, <clears throat> we went to Beaches and Cream for this, and we actually didn't do too bad between it. us. No, we yeah, finished we finished it. it. David finished most of it. Yeah, I finished the Yeah, I was having small spoonfuls. <laughs> yeah, a little bit left when I went to the counter to get rinsed out, but uh, I finished it off as on the way. We got the mini kitchen sink. So you got the hands and the little faucet. Oh, that needs to be washed under there. Um, and then her polka dot. So this will go with the Mickey, ki Mickey kitchen sink um, that we got on our last trip. Yes. That's really cool. And uh, I think this was like $25 with yeah, the ice cream in it. But there's done. like five scoops of ice cream. Yeah, there you go. And um, brownies and cookies yeah. and all sorts. It was a lot. And, um, we were struggling right towards the end to finish it, but I was like, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, um, there's no particular order. I mean, I do have things in order of where they came from, sort of. Um, but it's just, I think it's just going to be random. 
random, yeah. so should we just do the table stuff first? Yep. I was in Toy Story Land, obviously, for the event, and we loved the Swirling Saucers ride more than we thought we would. I actually think it's, dare I say, I think it's better than Slinky Dog. Our popular them opinion. Both I think it's really, really cool. Um, so we had to get the ride figure, and what me, and what kind of means more to us is that the first few times we did it, we were in, 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 in a purple vehicle. Uh, obviously, not purple and yellow, but a purple vehicle. So yeah, we had to get this little guy, which uh, we had a lot of fun on that ride. A lot yeah, of fun on it, it really it, does throw you around. Yeah, more than I thought it was. The pizza. No, go, go there. Everyone's probably already seen these already, but you know, I won't go into it too much. Yeah, so that's Cool. Oh, there is one last souvenir thingy, <laughs> which again, I can't remember, where did we get this from, Animal Kingdom? I think this is from Animal Kingdom. We got the um, alien straw. Oh, that's what I forgot to get. We didn't get the um, Incredibles one. The Luxo. Oh, yeah. Okay, well anyway, <laughs> we got the alien straw um, where he is being chosen. <laughs> um, so yeah, we just got this because it's alien and David loves the aliens. I don't know if we'll use it or not. Uh, maybe. It's been really, really cool. Yeah. We went to the Coca-Cola store and we had a really fun interaction with the Coca-Cola awesome there. Awesome interaction. So cool. So we wanted to get something small to remember it by because we could have got some photos but they were really expensive. About it was like $50. 40, no, it was $45. Yeah. Plus tax probably. Yeah, and then he said he'd go down to forty dollars. Yeah, for like a couple. For of like a few photos with some um, two frames or something, but yeah. they were like fridge magnet like frames. Like magnet frames like that, and it wasn't yeah. worth it. So we looked at some Christmas ornaments, and we did pick one out, but then I saw this, which is um, a magnet, and it's glittery. I saw this. This was, I think, six ninety five. And we like magnets on our fridge, so yeah. Yeah. This is our little commemorative token, as such. And then we seem to have a sticker <laughs> that came in the bag. <laughs> we um, decided to go for caps. Well, I I tried it on, and I quite liked how it looked with the sunglasses. Um, and David needed a hat because his face was burning. I got sunburn. Yes. On the second day. Well, we both both got burnt. all over my forehead here and here, and I got those dirty bumps got and sun, stuff. Sun spots here. Yeah. yeah. So Actually, um, so look at me. They've gone now. A little bit. Oh, God, man, had me on yeah. camera. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. So I. Reviews. Yeah, I went for the hat because I quite liked it. I did a poll on Instagram saying should I get this hat, and 100 percent was yes. Yeah, it was that one or the um. Who's uh, the Kappa one? Yeah, but I wasn't yeah. that keen on that. This was the better one. Hmm. So we wore these for a few days, didn't we? Um, of course, I couldn't not buy these. I buy a pair every time we go. I didn't go as mad as I normally do, but no. I got the rose gold ears. I'm not going to wear these for the video because I'm wearing glasses and it's a bit awkward. But yeah, I got the rose gold ears. So these are the only mugs that we bought. Um, as we were saying at Art of Animation, we had to get an Art of Animation mug. It's cool because it's got all the different um, room areas on it. So you've got Cars, Nemo, uh, Lion King, and then where we stayed, which was the Little Mermaid. And then inside it's all white, but you've got this kind of dripping paint effect. And then you've got Art of Animation at the bottom there. And this was... $13.99 and then the next mug I purchased was this one and this was from uh, the Disney fine art in the marketplace yeah. the Disney art bit um, and I can't remember who the artist is but I saw this and I was like it's really pretty because you've got Rapunzel staring up at the lanterns and it sort of goes around and then it's a bit plain after that um, <clears throat> and it's a tall mug <laughs> <Use your head. laughs> um, so it's a decent amount. I think it's like the Moana one with Maui's hook. It's kind of like that size, maybe a bit thicker rather than taller. This one was a bit pricey at $19.99. So, so yeah, those were the only mugs we bought this trip. We bought some art. Well, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Not art. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, there's nothing behind us. Oh, one, the Wonderground Gallery. That's what it's called. Um, <clears throat> that's where the mug's from. 
Okay, and we've got some more postcards because I got some on our last trip. I went for a stitchy one standing on top of... I don't know what his name is. Tiki Man. Yeah, the Tiki Man, but he has a name. Um, and this is by... This is called Maui Mischief by Kristen Turchek or Tur whatever. Uh, and that was $4.99. And then I saw this one. It's tangled, so it's called Lantern Love Song by Bill Robinson. And again, this was $4.99. Next up is uh, Bath and Body, no, Basin. <laughs> Whoops, Basin. Um, I got a little Valentine's set. But this is, ro it's called Rose Gold. It doesn't really have a name on it. Um, but the bath bomb is rose gold something and it smells so good. It's a tangerine and some other smells, but it was, oh, it's so yummy. And this is, uh, this is $15.99. Got the soap, the bath bomb and the bath salts. And I can't wait to use these because it smells so good. The bath bomb is heart shaped? Yeah, the bath bomb's heart shaped. This is a Valentine's set. So I'm quite happy with that. Let's get onto this little bag. <laughs> So in here we have um, we have a Disney World magnet, which is similar to our Disneyland Paris pin, um, which is on different. It's like firework. Yeah, which is nice. So we did like that. That was mint. Yeah. I think what was mint? I think mint's in the region of like seven to nine dollars, maybe. Yeah, I mean I'm, I might be wrong on that. Ten or something yeah. like that. And then I'd been eyeing this up on Instagram before we went and decided to get it. So I got myself the donut necklace. Um, yeah, so it's gold plated chain. It's just donut on the front and then sort of um, plain at the back. Quite excited to wear that. That was my necklace. And then originally I said to David, oh, I'm only going to buy one of these because they're quite, quite pricey. Um, but well, I, I, ended up, I ended up with lots. <laughs> I didn't tell you to buy more, it wasn't a problem. I know. So the first one I bought had to be the Stitch one. Because he's so cool and I love Stitch. So this is kind of like a gunmetal dirty silver. Um, that's titanium, yeah. So a gunmetal dirty silver. Um, it's nice though, I like it. It's not too bright silver because I do have a silver one here. Um, but yeah, I got this little guy and he was my first purchase actually, wasn't he? Mm -hmm. Or was, no, the other one was. Yeah, so I got that one and then I absolutely adored this set but I, I'm, an, I'm denied about it because Alex Nani bracelets are standard $44.95 unless you get a double pack like this one which is $79.99 so I was like oh it's a lot of money blah 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 but I really liked it because it was down to this one or the donut one um, <clears throat> And so David says, well, if you really like this one, then get this one. So we've got um, a carousel horse. So I think this is like a fantasy land set. And then there is a, uh, I, I live, live in, in fantasy, fantasy land. land. So this is a set and it's also rose gold. Um, so I got this one. <laughs> and then on our last day, I haven't worn this yet, hence why the tag's still on. I was going to go and get the donut one. But then, I think you pointed this out? I think I pointed that out before this oh. day, but... It is, oh, it is a Coco one. So you, ooh. Ooh, <laughs> so you've got the guitar. Um, these, these little dangly bits, they're not, they're just kind of like Alex and Arnie logo type thing, box down what comes with them. These are the main designs. But they had this in gold or so, this is silver and they also had it in gold. But I found that the silver one stood out more, um, excuse my shaking hand, it stood out more in silver, I found, because you got the colour and yeah, yeah. also the guitar in the film is white, so it kind of looks better. It looked better in my opinion yeah. than the gold one. Yeah, so. well, I did say to you what was better, and I think we were both definitely drawn Us more. two of the two cars, and we both said silver. So. Yeah. yeah. So those were my Disney Alex and Arnie's. 
Um, <clears throat> we'll get on to Harry Potter now. We're going to divert from Disney's Harry Switch Potter because bit. I didn't actually buy anything in um, in Universal apart from these two items because I wasn't really feeling anything there. No. But I'm so happy with these. I love them. I got another oh. Alex and Arnie. <laughs> I and I forgot all about them as well until I saw them. I was like, is that Alex and Arnie? <laughs> Straight over to it. <laughs> so I got the Silver Hogwarts Crest, um, yep. which I love. And these were a little bit cheaper than uh, Disney ones. These were 30... 35? Something like that. Yeah, they were either 32 to 35, one of those. Um, so that's quite cool, but yeah, I love these. And then the last one I got, so that one's sort of silvery, and then I got the Deathly Hallows. And this is kind of like a brass gold. Yeah. So it's not, it's none of these are gold, I don't, think, I don't have any gold ones. So it's like a brass type gold, but I like it because it's vintage looking. Um, so yeah, I got, and again, this was the same price, and I think these are the only two designs they had as well. Think so, and you were like, Oh, which one should I get? Which one should I get? And I said, yeah. Just get them both. <laughs> yeah. It'd be easy, wouldn't it? Like, so, yeah. I have one, two, three, four, five, six Alex and Arnie bracelets. <laughs> and I was only supposed to get one. I was supposed to, the, the, the whole thing we said was uh, go nuts. Whatever you want to get, you keep seeing things on Instagram and never got to get them before. Wherever you want, go nuts. So, I think that's one of my favourite purchases. So this, the, the, right, it's in a Disney bag, but we have to put everything in the Disney bag to keep it neat. These are gifts from our friends that we met up with from Ohio, Joe and Sophia. Oh, <laughs> um, oh. So they were in Disney before us, and they actually left the day that we arrived. Yes. Um, but Joe and Sophia went to uh, Hope Sound, I think it was, um, to meet up with some of their family. And then they had to come back the day before their flight. Um, so they came back and met up with us, which was really yes. cool. So they went to a restaurant, I think, was it a restaurant called Twisted Tuna? Yes. And then they got us a t-shirt. And So this is Dave's t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> it smelled like shrimp originally, but it doesn't smell like that anymore. So. <laughs> no, because it's been out. So yeah, this is uh, really cool. I like this. So we'll have to go one day. I think yeah. to Twisted Tuna or that place. <laughs> That'd be quite cool. So that's my one. Yep. Sure one. Steph got a sort, quite of, like this. a sort of like a, a loose kind of jumper, yeah, long sleeve, long sleeve t-shirt, I guess, because it's quite thin. Yeah. And it says "keep calm and get twisted." Get twisted. Yeah. So I quite like this, and it's very soft as well, mm. and it's quite thin. Yes. yes. So thank you very much, Joe and Sophia. Thank you, love you both. <laughs> yes. Can't wait to see them again. Um, and then. We're going to stay off the Disney World topic stuff for now and we'll get on with... These are from Walmart. <laughs> so I saw these on Instagram and I just had to get one. This was the one that I liked out of all of them because they had different colours, pink and... Yeah, it was pink, pink and, and black. Pink and green, pink. that one. Yeah. And the black ones... The the yeah, there was a black one, and then there was a pink one, and then there was this mint one. And it's a spirit jersey. So it's got Minnie on the front with her mint bow, and then it's just sort of white at the bottom. And then on the back, it's got Minnie Mouse. And, and I love this. It was twenty six ninety seven plus tax. Yes. So a lot cheaper than the a Disney ones. A lot cheaper than the Disney ones, yeah. And I think it's quite nice. Yeah, I like it. I like the colour. Oh. That's why I preferred it out of the pink one, because the pink was bright pink, and you had the black. And then I found these, and I was like, David, you have to get a pair. Well, anyone that knows me, I'm fucking, I'm wearing a Superman t-shirt, wearing Superman logoed pyjama bottoms at the moment. Yeah, I love loud pyjama bottoms, so we saw these goofy ones, which are just like really in your face kind of They're really design. loud. They're cool though. They had these in a Mickey, and Mickey but only got the goofy ones. So you've got... Just all different With silhouettes as well. Of goofy. Couple of different Disney faces, uh, yeah. Disney goofy faces on there. Yeah. So yeah, had to get those for you. They had Mickey as well, but I think you preferred Goofy, didn't you? Yeah. 
Yeah, I did. How much we spent? Yeah. I think these are like 20? Oh, they were really cheap, but where's the tag? I think, I took, I think we took them off because we were supposed to... I wanted to wash them and wear them this weekend, but we oh, haven't yeah. got to that point yet. So. They weren't very much. I want to say 15 oh. to 20. They've got pockets. Oh, mm. and it's got a back pocket. Okay. Yeah, but at, <laughs> at most $20. Yeah. Maybe, it probably wasn't even that, to be fair. No. You know, but it's good though. Very happy with those patches. So staying on theme with the uh, clothing, <laughs> I got a couple more jumpers. <laughs> the cat's just come running up to I the garden door. put bags on the door. floor and now she's just staring at me. Go, oh, go on the flat. Yeah, so staying on theme with, with clothing, I got some more jumpers. And I got a stitch hoodie, which is basically, I can be stitch. <laughs> we got stitch strippers. We got fairy here. Um, and then the hood is <laughs> his face and ginormous teeth and then the back is the design on his back so the alien hand come out here something. <laughs> so yeah I tried this on and I stood in front of a wall of stitches <laughs> yeah. this was um, $46.99 bit pricey. bit pricey and I think it's kids so I got myself an extra large it's still a bit snug but this is for home I'm not gonna go out wearing this because you know I'm not that crazy <laughs> brave <laughs> and then the next one is a spirit jersey there weren't that many to choose from apart from they had loads of rose gold they had the other colors which were a bit more I think manly colors like the kind of tie dye yeah, the men ones, denim yeah, the teal, type the yeah green, khaki um, so in the end I went with the Monsters University one! Which is, which is an odd choice to go for because it's like. It is! It's not even Disney, it's Pixar. However, out of all the ones over there, I didn't, I didn't really like this one as well. So I, I would have got this yeah. one or the Tiki Room one. Got MU on there. Because um, I tried the rose gold one on and it wasn't really, didn't really suit me. But the blue one looked really good and then I thought with the hat as well, <laughs> I could be an MU alumni. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's my one and only spirit jersey from Disney World. Uh, so we have a food and wine festival version of this or him. <laughs> and we wanted to get something from Festival of the Arts because we didn't get a huge amount of stuff. Um, like well, some of the designs, but not... sold out. Yeah, but some things I didn't like all the designs. So we thought we would go for a Festival of the Arts Mickey Mouse. Yeah, we need to fix his hair a little yeah, bit. Yeah, but we will. So he's got a um, Festival of the Arts on his foot. 2019, I think that says? Yes. yes. Um, and his design is kind of... Just like... Well, well, it does say Festival of the Arts on him as well. You can see yeah. these kind of prints. Because yeah. some people thought they were sprinkles, but yeah. it's actually not. It's like a geometric type mm. design. This was my first purchase. <laughs> a Bigfoot stitch because he was so cute. I wasn't really going to buy him um, because <laughs> I just sort of picked him up and was cuddling oh, yeah. him, walking around Big Top Souvenirs or whatever it's called. Yeah. And then I went to put him back and gave him to David and David was like oh my god he's so warm <laughs> from where I've been cuddling him yeah. so you can't put him back <laughs> well, it wasn't just that it was like this you've been carrying him around the whole time and you just started to put him back on the shelf can't do that to him it's not really not, it's not fair so David guilted me into buying this because really we weren't going to buy a lot of plushes on this trip because we have so many and you would have regretted if you didn't what does buy one it? do with plushes so <laughs> Yes, got him. I think this was twenty six ninety nine or twenty nine ninety nine. Mickey, I think was twenty nineteen ninety nine. Yeah, yeah. Like that, yeah. Yes. So, um, right. So, do a few pins. Uh, do really, really quickly. So, twenty nineteen pin we wanted to get. Uh, didn't want the Mickey one because you know, yeah. <laughs> so we got the Stitch one because we have a lot of Stitch pins anyway. As you can see there. Oops, That's cool. And that was twelve ninety nine. Um, got the receipt here. <laughs> That's not all of them though. I know. Um, then we got the Toy Story Land pin, which was, again was really, really cool. See that? So I have a shaky hand. And that was even $9.99 or $12.99. It's uh, silver, so I think $9.99. This one's also silver. This was a pin from our stay at the Art of Animation Resort. Which we bought in. Oh, yeah, we bought that in um, Pin Stop, yeah. Because our hotel. I sold, sold out. out of them. But then when we left, they had those. There's nine ninety nine. Another silver one here. It's uh, Mickey's celebration of the 90th. One of those pins. We got the silver 
and this says on your comedy really back to front. Mouse party. There you go. So that's cool. And that was also 9 99 And then this one I saw and had to get because I absolutely adore the film and there's never enough merchandise and I think it's awesome and it was 24 99 and we were very petty. I thought it was 30 so oh. And it was it's a goofy movie pin set. So you've got Max dressed as Powerline, the Goofy Movie logo, Leading Tower Cheezer, and obviously the uh, standout pin, which is just awesome. Yeah. If you like the movie as much as I do, you really appreciate this pin. So, set. yeah, set. So, yeah, that was. All the pins. I think all the pins we got. Didn't go too mad of pins this trip. Work. Last lot, well, last thing before we get on to snacks, because we actually have a crap ton. <laughs> um, this I bought in the airport. Um, yeah. Not the theme park, the airport. Yeah, put it in the airport. <laughs> well, because, you know, I wasn't that mm, I'm buying stuff, but you convinced me to buy this. Ooh, you've been banging on that game one for a long, long time. I got a Niffler! Yay. Obsessed with Nifflers. Niffler, I love them. They are like my spirit animal because they love shiny things, and I love shiny the only thing that's a bit eh about him is the fact that he's got white hair. Like, why does he have white hair? Maybe he's an older Niffler. But this is a Crimes of Grindelwald um, Niffler. <coughs> so this was $30 <laughs> plus tax. And yeah, last plush. No more. Yeah. <laughs> for a while, well, for <laughs> now anyway. Yes. Right, let's get on to snacks. And I will show you how much snacks we have. We've got this bag full of snacks. Uh, which is very heavy. This bag of things here. And then we have <laughs> this bloody big monster thing here. I don't think we'd come back with this much, but well, there you we go. Didn't, we didn't look really, but no. there's one in particular Steph's very, very, very pleased with herself. <laughs> yeah, right, so let's do the here. little bag first. We had about six... No, we had seven... We had nine snack credits left on our last day, and two of them we used to eat. Quick service credits, you mean? Quick service credits, yeah. yeah. Two of them we used to have lunch, and then um, seven we used <laughs> for snacks. And one quick, quick service credit gets you three snacks. So, <laughs> let's get going. I mean, obviously we used some of our snack credits as well to get some snacks, but not very many. Um, yeah, just things like that smells so good. Yeah. So the first one we got, well, not the first one, but what we'll show you. This is the uh, Mickey Premium Bar Rice Krispie Treat. So you can see it's been bitten there, bitten. I mean, I um, and it's got. It just smells so good. Mm. <laughs> Uh, like Disney. Yeah, so it's the chocolate, like the Mickey Premium bar, and then it looks like you've bitten in, and there's the ice cream dripping down. And it's actually all over chocolate. Yes. So you can't see the Rice Krispie on the back like you do with most. No. So that's that. Um, I absolutely adore these, the coconut patties. These are classed as a snack credit. You get uh, two. Oh, yeah, they do. Yeah. You get two coconut patties in yeah. there, so I got myself two packets. So I've got four to eat. I saw this. This intrigued me. This is a milk chocolate Disney almond praline. So you've got a big chocolate Mickey on the front. I don't know if you see because of the glare. And then you've got almonds with some like praline all stuck together. So this is going to be. <laughs> This is gonna be <laughs> This is gonna be quite interesting to eat. Last bits in this bag. I'll do two in one, it's easier and quickest time. Sour gummy worms and Mike and Ike, which are basically jelly beans. I don't know why they're um, called Mike and Ike. It's a bit weird, but hang on. Well there are sweets called Mike and Ike. Oh they? Yeah. I thought they were just called jelly beans. Well Chewy soy fruit flavoured candies. Anyway, <laughs> got those two. Oh, yeah. yep. And then next Disney snack. Oh, yes. So this isn't a snack credit. So those this two is, were. This is a good thing. We don't have Disney popcorn. No. Do 
do we? And we actually tried some for the first time, and I liked it. It was good. Um, but there were all different flavors that do Disney World. I know it's not as good as Tokyo, but there's still a lot of flavors to try. In Cookies Candy Co, they actually have a selection pack. Yeah, I out. saw this, and I was like, this is much better because we could buy all those different packs. But what if we don't like them? Mm. Then we've wasted money and stuff. Because I think they're nine ninety nine for a bag yeah. or something. Actually, no, they can't be nine ninety nine. I don't know. They're I don't know, well, but, but either way, you, you can buy it and not like it, or you can try a sample pack and we go back next time, we know which ones we like. So, it's $15 at 14 dollars 99 For six flavours. For six flavours, yes. yes. Six flavors. Um, so you've got... So on green. here, you have the... Um, you've got churros. So these ones are churros right here. Then there's parmesan and garlic, and cheddar. cheddar. And then on the other side... There's one hidden now. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you've got. I want to say maple. Right, that's maple. This one right here. Um, oh, kettle corns. So that's just going to be regular flavour. And then caramel. And that was all fourteen ninety nine. Yeah. So you get six different flavours. Which I, yeah, I think that's a really good, um, really good deal. Yeah, we were quite pleased with that. To be fair. We'll start off with these. We've got some more Rice Krispie treats. And they did some Easter designs. And they had different colour bunnies. They had. Easter eggs and I think that was it for the design, so just different colours. So I, I went for a yellow bunny, and then you got the rest of the back, and then I went for the pink Easter egg. It's quite cool. And I love the sugar cookies out there. So I found this one a mini sugar cookie. No, it's just mini. Oh, yeah. yeah, regular mini sugar cookie. And then they also do them. For the Lion King, so they have all sorts of different. They got tiger, leopard, zebra, and I think something else. Um, but I went for tiger because I am a tiger. <laughs> and then they also did Valentine's Rice Krispie treats. So I got myself a heart-shaped one, or us. Um, yeah. I don't know. You go for it. <laughs> so much snacks here. <laughs> so I got the red one. They also did chocolate color heart with sprinkles. I'm not sure if they did a pink one, but I wanted the red one. So. And these snacks, I had to ask if they were um, a snack credit because they kind of look a bit gourmet, luxury-ish. Um, and the cast member said, yep, those are snack credits. So I was like, hell yeah. They only had three different um, flavours, so we just got one of each. We've got key, key lime pie truffle. And then this one is waffle cone caramel. And then the last one is peanut butter banana. Nom, 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 nom. Which I mainly got for David. I'll try a little bit, but he'll probably end up eating it all. <laughs> uh, so we've got some more Goofy Candy Co. sweets. Um, we've got some Mickey Jelly Candies. We can't read that properly. Uh, we've got Mini Unicorn Pops. Yep, so these are like the giant lollies that but you the get, the tall versions. ones, like unicorn horns. Which I much prefer the smaller version because I can't just eat a whole big giant lolly. No, no, too much. Uh, sour rainbow belts. Yeah, we picked the character looking ones. We've got gummy animals from The Lion King. Yep. We've got ah, gourmet jelly beans. What the hell are them other bloody things? Mike and Mike. Oh, Mike. we wanted to get you another bag, didn't we? Yes, yeah, so I must pick up the wrong thing. Yeah. Oh, no, we've got some jelly beans I do like. Uh, some gummy spiders and some character gummies. Um, also got a tin of mint. little tin of mixed berry and cherry mints. Yeah, and the tin is so cute. Yeah, so, nice. And these which really open, I had a few, the peppermint mint, and boy they are strong. They are so strong. But like, nice. When you're eating them, very strong. And then once you bite into them, oh my god. Yeah, but they're very good though. Very <laughs> Those are all the Disney snacks. So this is the last Disney snack, um, which I'm very, very proud of. <laughs> so we don't normally go into um, Ghirardelli or Ghirardelli, however you pronounce it. So we went in there, had a look. I said to David, I want to get some. I want to try some this time around. And we were looking at the different options. So you can get a bag and just fill the bag for so much or weighed. Um, there was another one where you filled a specific bag for so much, the tin, and then I think there was, oh no, it wasn't a bag, you, it was a plastic box. 
and the plastic box was more expensive than the tin. So the tin was $12.95 and you can fill approximately, now this is the key word here, approximately, not maximum, approximately 15. Now one's come out of here because I gave one to my mum, but... We fit 26 in there. <laughs> 26! And they never questioned it, they never said anything. It's actually the, the cast member who was in there handing out free chocolates, she said, oh, don't do it. Don't do it we, like, I had it laid flat. Do, do, do it like yeah. stuff like that. She went, no, if you she do told it me that to do way, it this way. You get more yeah. So I was, <clears throat> basically I started out by putting them long ways and then I moved it over and I thought I would only get maybe one or two going sideways like mm. this. I managed to get three. <laughs> and then I got two going sideways. Actually, no, I got one going on the other side as well. I could, probably could have got, I probably could have got four more in here somehow. Maybe. Well, but none, none of the chocolates yeah. are broken, none of them are squashed. Um, nope. So, so they yeah. had Christmas flavours plus regular flavours. So we've got uh, dark chocolate peppermint bark. They were also giving out the peppermint bark um, uh, no chocolate peppermint for bark free. Yeah. Uh, got the dark chocolate caramel. The sea salt soiree dark chocolate cacao. No. That's not the cacao one. Uh, milk chocolate. Ah, 72% cacao. This one's thick. Milk chocolate caramel. That's quite thicker than the others. The holiday ones are a lot thinner. Uh, I've got the regular peppermint bar. This tastes like an after eight minute. I got two of everything, and then when there was more room, I went for ones that we think we might like more. Eggnog, mm. which I'm ex ooh, excited to try. Um... Oh, pumpkin spice, milk chocolate pumpkin spice, pumpkin spice caramel, caramel, excuse me, uh, dark chocolate strawberry, there were three mint, but, uh, <laughs> but um, I gave a mint one to my mum, then we've got dark chocolate raspberry, raspberry. Um, and then, it's mostly the same, isn't it? Just... Dark chocolate cacao, dark chocolate sea salt, milk chocolate caramel in yeah so those were the main ones that we got and I'm so excited to try them yeah. I'm very happy that's yeah, my bargain it's fine. They, don't, they don't say you have to only fit 15 in there so you know don't well, feel the, bad about doing it it's, the key word is approximately yeah. <laughs> is when it says maximum you should worry so we're very excited to try those oh, my slip is cut off. right <coughs> let's delve into this one so this is non Disney snacks Right, so these are our warm-up purchases. Um, you go first. Yeah, we didn't go nuts. No. Weight issues. Yeah. Um, so we don't really eat the snacks when we're out there. <laughs> no. Um, so I got a box of breakfast bars. Uh, there was a lot more, but I've eaten a few of them already, and there's still some in the kitchen. But I got the Lucky Charms breakfast bars. In an ideal world, I would have bought a few boxes of the actual cereal to bring back here. And I want to try Fruit Loops. I really want to try Fruit Loops, but I didn't get to bring you back. But still. Like them, they're really, really cool. So those are nice. Um, <clears throat> I think I saw this on someone else's video. I don't know who it was now, but it intrigued me. And I knew I was going to get these when I walked in. Wish I got a few other flavors as well. But I got Wrigley's, Wrigley's extra uh, mint chocolate chip ice cream flavor. I've been dying to try these, but I didn't want to open it before <laughs> this haul. Oh, so after this, I shall be trying it for the first time. Yep. Um, <clears throat> we. For some reason, we would never normally buy this. Oh, I picked these up. But I think I, think I showed them to you. I was like, oh, look at this. I think then, then you sort of came over and looked at them. And then I think you picked them out. But it doesn't matter. Anyway, um, we've got some popcorn seasonings, which is weird for we us. We don't really have that over here. No, so we've got a bacon cheddar popcorn seasoning and a garlic parmesan, which I reckon this one's going to be quite lovely. So the popcorn we buy is salted um, because I don't like the sweet. I think it tastes like crap. Yeah. So I think this will be fine to put on the salted popcorn because um, it is kind of uh, savoury. So. Well, it does say sprinkle the taste with seasoning, shade to come more. Yeah. Otherwise, we can just buy the plain stuff like these will sort of pop on the <laughs> stove and do that. But either way, and they had a few other flavours as well, but I can't remember what exactly they were now. But yeah. there's a few things to try there. Um, Got these in Walmart. Um, because I looked in the Valentine's section and really the only cool stuff for Valentine's was these. 
Yeah, um, they didn't even there. have any Lindor, though the Lindor they had was strawberry and I've already had strawberry mm. Lindor, which I don't like. But they had this. Strawberry bark, Ghirardelli. Yes. Now, you, I think you could have picked strawberry bark in the Ghirardelli store in Disney Springs, but because we had this whole bag, we didn't. Mm. Um, we have actually opened these. Yeah, yesterday. Um, we gave in. And I don't like them. I don't mind them. I so right. it's milk chocolate on one side and I think white chocolate on the other, is it? Yeah. Let me yeah. strawberry bark chocolate, rich chocolate layers with real strawberry bits. Yeah. And bit. I'm not keen on it, so David, yeah, it's all see, David's because he loves them. They're not bad. They're not bad. <laughs> and then I picked these out. Which we've opened. Yesterday. Which we've also opened, mm -hmm. but it's fine. <laughs> we got the cookies and cream um, Hershey Kisses. And which are so good. There's, lo there's so loads in this. And this is the thing between American supermarkets and English supermarkets. We get nothing. Like, they get a bag of crisps and there's like, nothing in it. It's like this, of this thing, right? I know it seems like I don't need that much. There, there, there's a lot. I mean, I can't really show you. But there's absolutely hundreds in there. Excellent. Um, and then at the airport, so this isn't Walmart, but at the airport I saw these and they intrigued me. And they are Reese's, Reese's dipped pieces. pretzel. So it's uh, bite-sized pretzels dipped in peanut butter candy and drizzled with milk chocolate. Mm. And they are rather yummy. They're quite nice actually, to be fair. But they were like $5. Yeah. <laughs> and I got Apple myself prices. a Snapple as well, which I think was 4 like everything came up to nine dollars or something. Mm. Oh, so I bought, I bought Gatorade. Well, I, I didn't bring it back, but oh, yeah. six bottles of Gatorade, five dollars. Like in the big box, five dollars. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I got some M and M's. There wasn't many flavors that um, were available. Uh, they had the regular ones that you can get over here, plus like the caramel. Um, so they had coffee flavor or coffee nut. Um, David says we've had these before, but I can't remember. The last time we went, we came back with, with a coffee one. Maybe not coffee nut, but it was definitely a coffee something or other. Because yeah, I know we came back with pumpkin and stuff. Yeah. I think next time we're going to go to Target or try different Yeah, Walmart. Walmart wasn't great this trip. The, it was really disappointing. They didn't even have very many Oreo flavors. No. Like, we have no Oreos. At the because first. all they had was double regular flavor. And yeah, they just didn't have yeah. any special flavours or anything. The first one we ever went to, Walmart went to, that had loads, that had a whole yeah. aisle for the Oreo. This yeah. one wasn't as good. No. So. We went to the one near Animal Kingdom. Yeah, don't go to that one. Go a little bit further, <laughs> you'll, you'll thank us for it. Um, I picked up some Pop-Tarts. Uh, they had a few good flavours mm. there. Lots of good um, But I went for Vanilla Milkshake. So I'm quite intrigued to try these. Yeah, I wanted to get the strawberry ones, but the um, the box is quite heavy. Yes. And so we were concerned about Well, this weights. box um, picked out some Lindor. And again, there wasn't very many different flavours that I've seen before. I wish they'd had the uh, Christmassy flavours. Um, but this was the only one that I hadn't tried before. And this is Fudge Swell. So Sounds it's nice. It's basically... Um, a delicate chocolate shell envelope... <laughs> A delicate milk chocolate shell envelopes an irresistibly smooth white and dark truffle filling. So that's going to be quite yummy to try. Yes. And then we're almost done. <laughs> I um, I got some Kool-Aid packets. I went for I think this is punch. Mixed berry. Oh, mixed mixed berry. It says it right at the top. I thought that was the punch one. <laughs> oh damn. Mixed berry and pink lemonade. This was supposed to be punch. I went for one behind, so it must have been in the wrong place. <laughs> so I'm going to try those, see what they're How like. How much are they, like 30 cents, 40 oh, cents maybe? Something like that. And then the last ones we've got are Pringles. This is David's. Which most of it sounds intact. Honey mustard. Yep. And I went for ranch. I'm not a Pringles fan, but I really want to taste it. <laughs> yeah, same. Because I think ranch is almost like um, Caesar salad, isn't it? So Maybe, these will yeah. be interesting. Oh yeah, because on, on the thing it's got uh, celery, no spring onion, and onion. Yeah. Yeah. So that is our Disney haul. 
God knows how long it is because we've had to stop start on <laughs> on clips and things. Um, but I hope you enjoyed watching this. And if you're going to Disney anytime soon, I hope we've given you some inspiration. Um, if you have any questions about what we've bought, please feel free to comment away or ask away. Um, and yeah, let us know what is you, your favourite purchase out of all of this um, and the vlogs will be starting soon I need to get a trailer up because I think I want to do a trailer yeah. I haven't even looked at any of the footage no. but yeah watch out for the vlogs and we'll see you guys soon <laughs> have a great day take care bye, bye.